Sairam students, how are your children? Fine? Nice to hear that. Nice to know that you all are fine and excited to learn. Okay? And you all are promoted to Standard 8. So, welcome to Standard 8. I will be taking Max. I am Madhumis. So, we will be starting the studies with the same interest and enthusiasm as we were doing in school. Right? So, with that interest, enthusiasm. So, get back. Let's start studies. Okay? What is 2? Multiply by 2. Multiply by 2. Correct. The answer is 8. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8. Correct. Now, this 2 into 2 into 2 is in the product form. And the value is 8. Same thing if you want to write in index form. It is written as 2 raised to 3. 2 is the base. 2 is a number multiplied by itself 3 times. So, 2 is base. How many times it is multiplied? 3 times. So, 3 is index. And how it is read as? 2 raised to 3. We also read it as cube of 2. Why cube of 2? Because 2 is multiplied by itself 3 times. Okay. Now, we know that index is 3. Plural form of index is indices. So, we will be learning more about indices in chapter 3. Indices and cube root. For that, let's recall what we have studied earlier. That is laws of indices. Now, these laws of indices are to be followed whenever we are doing the sums based on indices. If m and n are any integers. Now what do you mean by integers? Integers are natural numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 0 and 0 added to natural number that is whole number and integers, negative integers, negative numbers. So all these positive numbers, 0, negative numbers, they all are known as integers. Okay, so m and n are any integers. a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. So, in case of product that is multiplication, indices are added. But the base should be same. Here the base is a. For example, 5 raised to 2 into 5 raised to 4. The answer is 5 raised to 6. How we got it? 5 raised to at the indices 2 plus 4 that is 5 raised to 6. Next law. A raised to M divided by A raised to N is equal to A raised to M minus N. That is, in case of division, indices are subtracted. Again, the basis should be same. For example, 5 raised to 7, divided by 5 raised to 3. The answer is 5 raised to, correct, 7 minus 3, that is 5 raised to 4. Next law. A into B, the whole bracket raised to M is equal to A raised to M into B raised to M. That is when you open the bracket, M is the common index for both the numbers. For example, 5 multiplied by 7, the whole bracket raised to 4 is equal to, correct, what is the answer? 5 raised to 4 into 7 raised to 4. 
नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट लॉ ए रेस टू जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन बट द कंडीशन इज द बेस ए शुड नॉट बी इक्वल टू जीरो ए इज एनी नॉन जीरो एंटीजर इट कैन बी एनी पॉजिटिव नंबर नेगेटिव नंबर बट ए इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर एग्जाम्पल सेवन रेज टू जीरो द एंसर इज वन सो एनी नंबर एनी नॉन जीरो नंबर इक्वल टू जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन नेक्स्ट लॉ ए रेज टू माइनस एम इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन ए रेज टू एम नाउ हियर द इंडेक्स दैट इज इंडेक्स इज निगेटिव ए रेज टू निगेटिव एम निगेटिव नंबर इज चेंज टू पॉजिटिव सो हाउ इट हेज बिकम ए रेज टू वन अपॉन ए रेज टू एम इट इज ए रेज टू माइनस एम इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन ए रेज टू एम नेक्स्ट लॉ ए रेज टू एम रेज टू एन इज इक्वल टू ए रेज टू एम एन सो हियर द इंडाइस आर मल्टीप्लाइड फॉर एग्जाम्पल थ्री रेज टू फोर द होल ब्रैकेट रेज टू फाइव इज इक्वल टू थ्री रेज टू ट्वेंटी हाउ वी गॉट द आंसर थ्री रेज टू मल्टीप्लाई द इंडाइस फोर इंटू फाइव ट्वेंटी नेक्स्ट लॉ A upon B, the whole bracket raised to M. The M is the index for the bracket that is for the fraction A upon B. So A upon B, the whole bracket raised to M is equal to A raised to M upon B raised to M. A upon B, the whole bracket raised to minus M is equal to B upon A raised to M. So here the negative index is changed to positive index. So what we have to do? We have to take the reciprocal of the base, and the base here is A upon B, and recipro reciprocal of A upon B is B upon A. How we get the reciprocal? Correct. Where the numerator is written as denominator. And denominator is written as numerator, that is reciprocal. So here a upon b raised to minus m is equal to take the reciprocal, so it becomes b upon a, the whole bracket raised to m. So here we have studied the laws of indices. Now let's do this small activity. Using the laws of indices, we have to write. Proper numbers. That is the correct answers in the following blanks. First question is three raised to five into three raised to two. So the answer is think and write. And which law is applicable? Okay. The answer is three raised to five plus two. That is three raised to seven. Three raised to seven divided by three raised to nine. So here, which law is applicable? That is in case of division. So it is three raised to indices are subtracted. Correct. So three raised to seven minus nine is equal to three raised to minus two. Negative integer. My three raised to Negative two. Next is three raised to four. The whole bracket raised to five. Here which law? Yes, so it is three raised to. Correct. The indices are multiplied. Three raised to twenty. Next five raised to zero is equal to one. That is when any number is to zero, 
but the base should not be equal to 0. So 5 raised to 0, answer is 1. 5 into 7 raised, the whole bracket raised to 2. So the answer is 5 raised to 2 into 7 raised to 2. So you all are writing in a book. Good. Or next time keep a pen and a book ready with you. So that you can write it down. And maintain one book. In that same book you have to write. It can be any book. But maintain your book and write the answers in it. So next time be ready with your pen and book. Ok. Now next part. We have studied the laws of indices. And these laws of indices were. That is when the indices were integers. Now we are going to study the numbers with rational indices. So for that first we should know what are rational numbers. What are rational numbers? All natural numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4. They are rational numbers. Whole numbers that is 0 added to 1, 2, 3, 4. This is rational numbers. All integers positive, negative they are rational numbers. All fractions are rational numbers. So it means all integers and fractions are rational numbers. And here your indices are in the form of rational numbers. And rational numbers are the numbers which are written in the form m upon n. Where your m is any integer. n is non-zero integer. It means your m upon n, your numerator is any integer. It can be any number, any integer. But n, your denominator, should not be equal to 0. For example, 1 upon 2, 1 upon 3, 1 upon 5, 1 upon n. So here, we are taking those rational numbers which are in the form 1 upon n. So, we are going to first study this part, indices, in the form of rational numbers, where the rational numbers are in the form 1 upon n, where your numerator is 1, like 1 upon 2, 1 upon 3, 1 upon n. Now, what is the meaning of the numbers with rational indices? If we have to write square of a number, square of any number, it is, how it is written? a square square of a any number it is a square and if you want to write it that is 2 is your index a is your base but where if you write square root of a that is square root of a number then the index is written as 1 upon 2 so here now your index is fraction 1 upon 2 root it is always in the form 1 upon. So, square root 1 upon 2. If you are writing in words, square root of 25. And if you want to write using sign, that is square root sign. So, square root of 25. And this square root sign is known as radical sign. So, square root of 25 using radical sign. And same thing if we want to write using index form. Then how it is written? 25 raised to square root. Square root. Square when we say it is index 2. When it is square root it is 1 upon 2. So index form is 25 raised to 1 upon 2. Using radical sign if you are writing it is root of 25 equal to 25 raised to 1 upon 2. So we, we, can, we can write using radical sign. Index is, then index is 1 upon 2. Same square root of A. If you have to write using radical sign, square root sign, square root of A. Index form will be, index is 1 upon 2. So, A raised to 1 upon 2. Square, it is always 2. So, square root A raised to 1 upon 2. If it is cube root, using radical sign, we write like this, cube root of A. But we have to write in index form. It becomes a raised to 1 upon 3. Your index is 1 upon 3. It is also known as cube root. 
so now what is the general form nth root if we want to write nth root of a it is expressed as a raised to 1 upon n so always remember nth root always 1 upon so nth root of a is expressed as a raised to 1 upon n so let's solve the excess let's do this exercise that is practical set 3.1 first question express the following numbers in index form so the numbers which are given which form you have to write index form first question fifth root of 13 how will be writing the answer which root it is fifth root how the fifth root is written 1 upon 5 of which number 13 so 13 is base so base is 13 13 raised to 1 upon 5 sixth root of 9 which number base is 9 which root sixth root how sixth root is written 1 upon 6 so the answer will be 9 raised to 1 upon 6 square root of 256 when we say square root the index form that is 1 upon 2 index is 1 upon 2 which numbers 256 so how will be writing it 256 raised to 1 upon 2 now check the answers how it is written fifth root of 13 13 is base and your root is fifth root so index is 1 upon 5 13 raised to 1 upon 5 13 base index 1 upon 5 6 root of 9 9 is base index is 1 upon 6 square root of 256 256 is base and index is 1 upon 2 so it is written in this form next question cube root of 17 which number 17 base is 17 which root it is cube root so how the index form of cube root it is 1 upon 3 so how we are going to write 17 is the base and your index is 1 upon 3 8th root of 100 so base is 100 and root is which 8 so index form is 1 upon 8 100 raised to 1 upon 8 7th root of 30 30 is base and the root is 7th and how we write the 7th root index 1 upon 7 so check the answers cube root of 17 17 is base index is 1 upon 3 8th root of 100 base is 100 root is 1 upon 8 7th root of 30 base is 30 root is 1 upon 7 so today we have also covered this the numbers whose index is a rational number that is numbers with rational indices and in that also which form 1 upon nth root it is 1 upon n which is known as nth root of a so general form is nth root of a so always it is we are doing this part now 1 upon n and next part of the exercise second question we will be continuing later on so revise all the laws of indices which we have studied and the first question of practice set 3.1 express the given numbers in index form and the way how they are written so next time i want you with more interest and enthusiasm keep a notebook pen with you and till then bye sairam